Welcome back to my Tears of the Kingdom playthrough. That is the first time I have said those words and that's so cool. In the last episode, I did the first part of the intro. It ended up taking super long for me to do, so I split it up into two episodes and this is the second episode. Please remember to subscribe if you want to stick around for my Tears of the Kingdom journey and let's get into it. Okay, so I'm trying to go over here. I can already tell it's definitely going to take me some time to get used to the new abilities. They're like way more intricate than the previous ones, which is cool, but it's just going to take time. I love this view of the Temple of Time. Garden of Time was quiet. The only sound to be heard was the time bell ringing in the mornings and evenings. It was as if the whole place changed at its chime, especially at night, and the sound signaled the emergence of fireflies. Interesting. God, I hope I can see it. <laughs> hope I can travel in time, see some stuff. So this thing is interesting because it floats. Why can't I grab that one? I can't grab it when I'm, no, I can't. So let me try and grab this one, I guess. Okay, I can grab this one. Let me bring it like here. Oh, oh sh God, I don't have a paraglider. Wait, oh my God. For a second, I thought it was gonna let me go all the way to the surface. <laughs> oh, I imagine that being actually really annoying <laughs> if you like fall and you have to find your way all the way back to the sky. I'm gonna put this one like here and then, oh, I can actually just, oh my God, okay. <gasps> oh, interesting, okay. Oh, it's like the guardians, how you could just grab their pieces when they were like deactivated or whatever. Man, it is hard to travel without the paraglider. I'm just thinking about how many times it would just be so much easier if I had a paraglider, but that is something to look forward to. I didn't even have to come up here, huh? Huh, what's that? Oh my, f oh, okay, I thought it was a Korok. bulb, a wild plant often found in cooler climates. Oh, it is kind of cool here, isn't it? 45 degrees. I guess that makes sense. What the hell? Oh god. Oh, this is like a camp. Please be a shirt. Maybe it's a sweatshirt. Okay, well, <laughs> it contains the power of water. That's interesting. Did it always say that? Thick stick. Oh, okay. Oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> Looks like this is where I can build a boat. Why can I not make it upright? I have another one. <laughs> Why was I able to do that one? I really need to get better with this mechanic. Okay, um, well good thing it's windy. I wonder if two is enough. Oh, wait, 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 wait for me. Wait for me, please. Oh god, okay. Wait, okay, we might be doing okay without this. Oh, sh oh my god, I'm so bad with these controls. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> I don't need it. This is the jankiest boat <laughs> I've ever seen. Oh my god, it'll do I guess, but... It's, um, pretty fucking ugly. Oh my god. Oh my god, I suck at this game. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I wonder if I'll get bombs here. The loading screens seem pretty quick. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. All right, let's see what we're gonna get. Fuse? Is that what that is? Yes, okay. Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo it, but that will destroy whatever has been attached, okay. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna like use it as like a hammer. Fuse it to my rusty claymore. Yo. Oh my God, I can already see the possibilities. I feel like maybe, oh my God, it looks so dumb. <laughs> I feel like maybe like instead of getting an item like you would in a typical dungeon, you'll just get the ability to like fuse weapons together. Fire fruit, holy hell, that's sick. They look so cool. Okay, so I think it's saying that I can fuse these with arrows. What if I do it to my shield? What does that do? Oh, okay, maybe, okay, select material to attach. Maybe it's just saying that now I pick them up, I can attach it. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool that you don't have to like necessarily make new weapons or new arrows. You can just make them on the fly like that. Ah, small key. Ah. Oh, I'm getting that fuzzy feeling. I'm feeling like I'm playing an old Zelda game and it's great. I wonder if I, yes, I can break these, I bet. Hell yeah. Oh, it's so satisfying. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a pointy man. Oh, sh he fuses too, huh? Oh, this music. It's kind of a jam. Oh my god, the beef dropped. Are you kidding me? Oh, sh he's kind of hefty, huh? I have a new song to listen to while I work. Oh my god, I need more food. Okay. Ah! Oh my 
God, he does a lot of damage. Yo, this is sick. In Christ, I need to get better at this game. Kind of reminds me of Mario music for some reason. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Wait, please stop. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's so hard. I'm like so stressed out. Okay, one thing I'm gonna try real quick is to shoot a fire arrow at this stuff. Is that gonna do anything? Oh my God, it does do something. Okay, yeah, that's definitely what it wanted me to do. Ah. Oh yeah, construct bow. It's fireproof, it said. It is interesting how certain things are very similar. Like that's the same exact noise that it would make when you got a spirit orb and it's like a very similar setup. Instead of like the monks, it's these guys. Different music and stuff, but it is very similar, which I, I, I don't mind. Like this is obviously a sequel to that game, so I don't mind it being similar. I came because there's something I failed to give you. Okay, please take it. <gasps> Ooh. That's where the where I collect the tears, maybe? Energy cell. A gift from a Zonai construct. Designed to be worn as a belt, it can power Zonai devices. Oh, okay. So I have associates on the other side of that cave system. Okay. Can't wait. I wonder if that guy would have shown up, like if I did the shrines in a different order, if he would have shown up after the second one, or if he always shows up after that one. I don't know. Why are they picking on choo -choos? <laughs> Oh, okay. I get it because they're like defending the, they're like supposed to defend this place. So even against choo -choos, I guess. <laughs> Damn, that does a lot of damage to him. That does hella damage to- th oh no, wait, give me my zone eye charge. Ah, are, are they susceptible to fire? It kind of seems like they are. I guess I could have used that shield. <laughs> That's fine. All right, let's go into our first cave. Discovery Pond Side Cave. Okay, cool. Gives a faint light. Okay, I see you guys. <laughs> Am I going the wrong way? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like a little claustrophobic. The f is that? Okay, um, it's like a frog thing. What are these bubbles? Yo, he's sick. Oh, sh I guess he's an enemy you just see. Bubble chat. <laughs> it's a bubble frog. Oh my god, I love it. I guess those are enemies you just find like in dark caves, which is another thing I really like that there's certain enemies that are specific to certain areas and not just like a, a fire choo choo or whatever. Just having an elemental version of enemies, like actually having a, a new thing. Please be a shirt. <laughs> oh my god, finally. Oh, thank god I didn't fing leave it in that cave. Oh, it's sick. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Oh man, I was so nervous that I left it in that first cave. God, this guy's so creepy. I wonder if I can fuse, like, fuse a pot. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, it breaks right away. A barrel. Oh, I can, I can fuse a, a box? Okay. <laughs> Wooden box club. <laughs> I woke him. The screen thing is called a Zonai device. The one you see here is a fan. An energy cell stores the energy required to use Zonai devices. Its energy will replenish automatically while Zonai devices are not in use. Okay, so I am trying to go over there, I think. So how do I- oh, I hit it, he said. Wait, I have it going the wrong way. Hang on, turn off. God, everything I do is so sloppy. Does anyone have a sail? <laughs> I need one. I wonder if I just need like more energy? Cause what I don't get is like, why would the fan not just push the logs? Like I don't see why that wouldn't be enough. I must protect myself. Oh my God, I love them. Maybe you need like one for each. Hang on, are they backwards? Can I put them on backwards? I wonder if it even lets you do that. Okay, let's put this here. Now put this here. I make the jankiest stuff. You know what? The fans might be backwards. It's definitely possible. Okay, that works. They do look different. I, I wonder if those two are backwards or maybe I just needed three of them. I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> I'm assuming that this gap was just long enough to like not be able to swim across. That's my guess at least. That's close enough. Ooh, a cooking pot. I'm definitely gonna cook some stuff because my hearts have been depleting very fast. <laughs> Simmered fruit. Okay, that was way too much. <laughs> Fast time till the morning. Why not? <laughs> Ooh, that was a new little jingle. I like it. So I wonder if like fire arrows and ice arrows and electric arrows even exist anymore, like in terms of buying them, because I don't see why they would, you know, kind of unnecessary. Ooh, it's a large man. Oops. Ah, here's a cave. I see. Ooh, okay, so mine carts, it looks like. And, whoops, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Ah, oh God, this 
stop. Okay. I don't understand. Am I putting it on backwards? Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, I think I'm putting it on backwards. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Discovery, mining cave. Oh God, it's dark as absolute hell. Oh, I'm missing things. God, it's so dark. This cave is especially dark. You need light to proceed ahead. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? The glowing flowers are bright blooms. They shine very bright, can be used to illuminate. Striking a bl bright bloom seed or attaching it to an arrow will cause it to activate. It would generally be in your best interest to use them in dark places. So how do I use them? Oh, I see it like sticks. Okay, that's interesting. Zonite, 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 zonite. I think it's zonite. Ooh, it's another one of those guys. Oops, God, I feel bad. <laughs> I like them, they're cool. Aw. <gasps> oh man, it made those little, that little thing, okay. So I'm going to um, take a stick and fuse it with this. Wait, hang on. Fuse it. Stick rock? Is it called like a hammer? Rock hammer, okay. I kind of wish that I could just fuse a stick with that bright bloom flower and then just use that as like a torch almost. I wonder if that's possible. I feel like it should be, but he didn't really describe that being a thing. Damn, what's going on here? Lava? Question mark? What are you doing? Oh, a forge construct? Processing zonite. Okay, I have some. Processing into other materials can be converted into materials with useful properties. Okay, interesting. This is new. <laughs> what was I waiting for just now? <laughs> he just had a quick lunch break he had to take, you know, about 15 minutes. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain it. Okay. Zonite technology is typically powered by zonite charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials in this way is called processing. Oops. Oh, sorry. 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 I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I won't. I won't take it. Zonite capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable zonite devices. Oh, okay. Like fans. Okay. So I can like just use them anytime. That's pretty cool actually. What the f- I can- fuse a minecart to my shield wait hang on i have to check i have to see what this does hang on okay what if i what if i fuse a stick in a minecart oh my god what the f <laughs> this game is absolutely insane oh my god they they really like did not care at all they were just like literally do whatever the f you want have a minecart hammer <laughs> oh my god i have a fucking minecart hammer what the hell <laughs> Oh my god, it's so weird. So, please stop whistling, like. <laughs> okay. Um, let's grab this and put it here. Does that work? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm powering my minecart by putting a fan on it and hitting it with my minecart hammer. <laughs> this game is wild. This is also incredibly fun. <laughs> I hope that there's things like this a lot. Like I hope there's areas where you can actually use this throughout the game because this is a really cool way to get around. Did I just go in a circle? What is that? Device dispenser. It accepts things such as construct horns and zonite charges. It's like a vending machine. Wait, what the hell? It just spits out random shit. <laughs> Portable pot. Okay, that's sick. Flame emitter shoots fire. Oh my God. Okay, that's cool. Oops. Ah. <laughs> so fun okay am i even going the right way yeah i have to go up there and i am also now realizing that i'm going to need some sort of cold resistance wait let me turn the fan off oh god turn off turn off what is this <laughs> what <laughs> oh my god that was an upside down mine <laughs> okay <laughs> oh my god oh this game is so weird my minecart hammer is badly damaged oh no goodbye <laughs> Oh no. Oh, it's like those things from old Zelda games. I forget what they're called. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna start getting too cold. So let me test out the cooking pot thing. Do I need to, I probably need to set it on fire still. <gasps> Wait, what? I don't wanna cook flint. Oh no. Oh no, I only get one. Oh sh Oh wait, there's a cooking pot in here. <laughs> oh, this is a new one. Okay. Spicy pepper. Here we go. Pit cave. All right, I'm going to go in here first before climbing that mountain. Wait, do I still have the master sword? Where did it go? Hang on, am I crazy? I literally, I had the master sword. Did I drop the master sword? Do I not have it anymore? I had like that broken master sword. I don't know why I don't have access to it anymore. It's kind of weird. I didn't even notice that. Maybe when I'm editing, I'll figure out what happened to my 
to my master sword. I just lost it. Not very responsible, apparently. This tutorial seems a lot more intricate than Breath of the Wild. I don't know. I think it's just because the abilities are just so much, I don't know, they're just so much more, um, more confusing, more, oh God. Okay, I thought I was gonna cook it again. Ooh, ice choo-choo's, oh God. I don't know, that doesn't look like any of my business. <laughs> Discovery, bottomless cave. Ooh, what's this? Bomb flower! Holy hell, bomb flowers! Oh my god, they brought them back! <laughs> oh man, that makes me happy. Grab this. Bomb flower. Oh my god, it's so nice to see you again. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, it's like one of those things. Ew, it's gross. <laughs> I think those were in old Zelda games too, or at least something really similar. Ah, ah, ah. Wait, 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 I need something. Okay, hang on. Ah. <laughs> oh god. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Oh my sh- It's breaking. Give me a second. Oh god, oh god. I like this enemy. He's cool. He's like different. You can't just hit him randomly. You have to actually wait for him to open his mouth. Like, like. Like stone. <laughs> what? Oh, strange round stone from a like like. Oh, that's what they're called. Okay. A like like. That's funny. This beginning area is almost overwhelmingly big. Oh my f god. Wait, wait, wait. Don't worry. I can I can still eat in here. <laughs> ah, that was rude. What? Was that a fire emitter shield? Okay, I feel like this this scene might have been in one of the trailers. Ah, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, that's sick. Oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> and it's just on the electric battery thing. Where's the little ghost guy? Oh, here he is. I wonder if the Raru from Ocarina of Time was just like named after him. I'm like scared to do any research now because I feel like if I do, I'm gonna spoil something for myself accidentally. Oh, ascend. How did I forget that one? Okay. Unless you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top of it. Cool. <laughs> That's super cool. Okay, you can decide if you want to actually emerge or not. <laughs> Don't do it, that's rude. <laughs> that's neat. Oh, sh this might be my favorite ability actually. It's just like a really, I don't know, it's just really cool. Also, it's simple, <laughs> which might be another reason why it's my favorite one. Oh, that's so cool, hang on. Kind of like freezes time for a sec while you're doing it. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I think that's my favorite one. <laughs> it's just, it's like not confusing like the other ones. It's genuinely gonna take me so much time to get used to the other ones, oh my God. It feels like a Breath of the Wild sequel so far. Like it, it's, it definitely has that vibe of Breath of the Wild, but it is very different so far, um, especially with those abilities. Like it just completely changes the whole gameplay and like how you approach situations. I see you've restored some power to that new arm of yours. The door to the Temple of Time should now open for you. Awesome. Great. Fucking <laughs> finally. Holy shit. Now I'm finally at the Temple of Time again. <laughs> Am I back in time? Maybe I'm looking at what happened in the past? Okay, so she's wearing her Zonai outfit. She's like floating. This is so weird. Huh, so she's the one who's like helping us put the light back in her arm or something? Like the cleansing light, is that what he said? <laughs> That's interesting. Dude, she's giving me goddess vibes. Like I know she's technically a descendant of the goddess Hylia, but like what is happening right now? This is so weird. Huh, okay. Well, I already have my three abilities, so I wonder what the hell that is. I kind of just expected to get like a another heart or stamina like you did in Breath of the Wild from the spirit orbs, but that was interesting. <laughs> Not sure what that did there. I'm sure we'll find out shortly. Recall, oh, okay. I completely forgot about that one. <laughs> Recall, the ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. And Zelda has vanished as well. What you just saw, it's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was some sort of echo, one re that reflects her sheer will. That was in the past, dude. Zelda is in the f***ing past. How do you not know? You're a f Zone I that you've now been given this ability. No doubt it will prove important. Damn, are they not even gonna tell me if there's time travel yet? Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh god. Okay. Hmm. That's cool. Oh, we have a goddess statue. Wait, I'm gonna die. 
You remain in a weakened state. You're not strong enough yet to open it. There is one more shrine on this island. There you can get another blessing. If you add that to the other blessings you received and offer them to the goddess, you might find your way forward. Oh, thank f Okay. Oh, I'm gonna finally feel free. <laughs> this beginning area has been so tedious for me. It's probably just because I'm not acclimated to the controls yet. Oh wait, I didn't think that through. <laughs> it's nice that it gives you a little bit of like a, it gives you like a second before it starts moving, which is really, really nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh God, oh sh Oh God, why was the current so fast? <laughs> okay. Hmm, that's sick actually. Wait, how am I gonna... Oh sh Oh man, oh sh Oh my god, that's sick as hell. That is so cool actually. Oh okay, because now they're both going the same direction. Yeah, I want a heart container. Okay, awesome. Somebody mentioned in my comments um, about wanting heart containers to return, like where you could just find them in like dungeons and like around the world and stuff. I think that would be so cool and I honestly hope that that happens. Cause it's, I mean, it's cool that you can get it here and stuff, but like, I think it would be so sick if you could just find heart containers and, and, you know, gain some heart pieces that way. This is kind of similar to the master sword thing in the first game when you had to like have a certain amount of hearts and then it like took you down to almost death. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, it's the little Tears of the Kingdom symbol. Ah, good. I see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You're almost beyond saving. This is the second time Link has almost died. By visiting the shrines, and receiving their blessings. I really like his voice actor. Did I say that already? Some of the corruption's effects. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. Hmm. You are exactly as Zelda said. Dude, he's definitely from the past, and Zelda's in the past, and he like knows her from his time. I've done everything I can for. Now it is up to you. Okay, so he disappeared, just like the King of Hyrule did in the first game. I just took melatonin so I can fall asleep tonight. So um, we are on a very limited clock now. <laughs> we have about 30 minutes max. <laughs> I love that little cutscene, it's so cool. Oh hell yeah, is this a tear? Oh, oh okay, God, it scared the crap out of me. It's like, it's Zelda's like essence from the past. I'm gonna sound so f***ing stupid if there's not time travel in this game, but it just seems like they're setting it up so much. Like I, I can't, maybe it's just cause I'm blinded by what I already think, but I just can't see anything else being the case. <gasps> That's f***ing fee. Oh my God. That's sick. Come out, come out. Please just come out. That would be so cool. Come out of the sword, fee, do it. Fee, come out, come out, come out, come out. Is that some sort of like cleansing light or something? I f***ing told you all that we were going back in the past. I f***ing told you. I told everyone in this f***ing room, which is nobody, but <laughs> I told you guys that that just f***ing time traveled. We just were able to send that back in time to Zelda. I feel like that's pretty much confirmation, right? Yeah, like it basically just disappeared. No, it literally, I mean, okay, here's the thing. I guess it's possible that it like just teleported, but it made that recall ability noise. What the f***? The dragons. Pretty sure that's the dragon, one of the dragons from the first game. Oh, finally. Yeah, sure thing, Zelda, but what is that? Damn, I'm, I, I'm gonna need a stopping point. <laughs> to the kingdom of Hyrule, oh my God. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to end it here because 
I can't be playing more today. That is just way too much. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe and stick around for the rest of my playthrough. Until next time, have a good one.